Good evening, everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Sorry for my few minutes, my 120 seconds short stop, short, <laughs> late start. I hope everyone's doing well. Let me see here. Check my settings. Appreciate everyone for joining. Here. There. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Perfect. Sometimes it's just like this. But I appreciate everyone for popping in. Welcome to She Fires, all about self-defense, mainly with a firearm. And I do talk about situational awareness, also about um, other forms of personal safety. And I hope that you all had a chance to check out my community post. I um, reshared the link um, about uh, dating safety. And um, it was important for me to like reshare that. I did that live last October. Um, I think I might do it again. Um, I think it's just an important reminder, not just for Domestic Violence Awareness Month, which is in October, um, which also shares its month with uh, breast cancer awareness. But I think it's important though to continuously share tips on how to keep yourself safe. Um, thanks so much for everyone for popping in. <laughs> um, yeah, that community post, because if you saw that story and I was gonna get into it, but it's really heavy and information still coming out on, um, I, th I think it's pronounced Shade, Shade Robinson and just dating and being careful and not going to people's homes, you know, that you're dating. It, it would be a rabbit hole because I'm very passionate about staying safe when you're meeting strangers. And I think I might show, um, let me see if I can share the timestamps. I timestamped it, okay? Um, I went back um, and added all the timestamps of all the tips that I shared. There were 25 tips that I shared in that live back in October. And I know people like, okay, going back to October, 2023, it's a long time ago. Some people don't like sitting through replays. I understand that. I might do it in a different manner. Um, but we just have to continue to remind ourselves. And if you're not one who's dating, that's fine. But maybe, you know, people that you know and making sure that you're staying safe. So I will share. I'm going to, I'm only going to show you the timestamps. Thanks so much for being here. Um, <laughs> I appreciate everyone popping in. Hi, G23. Good to see you. Club 49. Hello, hello. DJ Play Nice. Thank you for popping in. Two way we stand. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Hey, Liz Guns, good to see you. <laughs> Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you. I know. I was a little bit, I had a little slow start just putting out even the, the, um, the thumbnail for today. I always feel like um, that's good, DJ. Play nice. That's good. That might be something to do. Um, we can't talk about it enough. It's a good idea. Miss K, good to see you. Welcome in. Trying to get myself together on a Sunday. I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, I didn't mind mean to roll right into it with something, you know, heavy, um, but it's a serious topic. But I appreciate everyone being here. Thanks for joining. Thanks for being watching the um, my shorts and my vlogs. Um, that one I just did the other day on the, um, that AK chamber to nine millimeter by PSA that did really well. It was slow to start, but it's doing pretty well. <laughs> Appreciate everyone. Hi, what's up? Good to see you. Mike Ware. Hello. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. I went to the range um, not this past weekend, the weekend before, and I had a, 
a lineup. I think there were like maybe four or five. Is that right to understand? Four or five, six, maybe different daggers, uh, different colors picked up along the way. Definitely a fan of them too. Appreciate you being here, Mike Ware, and your Eagles, Eagles fan. So you get a bonus, you get a bonus point. Um, <laughs> you get a bonus point. Thank you for being here, fellow Eagles fan. Hi, EJM. Good to see you. Welcome. Yeah, a little slow to start today, but I appreciate you. Yes, thank you, everyone. Um, I do want to do a shout out and um, thank uh, Cross Armory. They actually are the um, company that a lot of the parts that are on my dagger, where those came from. Um, and great company, great company out of California, okay, out of California. So you have a lot of comp um, CA compliant uh, parts if you are in that vicinity um, and, and, and need uh, firearm parts and accessories for um, that are within, within the, the state regulations. Um, the restricted state regulations, a great company that I am collaborating with, and also um, the makers of the D-Lab D wipes. So I have to make sure I shout them out always um, for su supporting the channel. Absolutely, I see that. <laughs> oh, fly is fly. Um, hello, Uncle, Uncle Stu. How are you? It's been a long time. Good to see you. Thanks for popping in. Hope you're staying well healthy um we are kind of freestyling it today um i if for anyone who missed it as as they were coming in i, I was talked lightly about the community post i just put out um to earlier today um resharing the link of the live that i did and um it was talking about dating safety in, in light of the most recent story of the, the young lady who went on a date with someone and she was um, not to be seen again. Um, it, it's important to continuously to have continuously have these conversations about keeping yourself safe when you're meeting people. And um, I meant to share actually, didn't I? Let me see if I can do this really, do this as I, as I talk. Um, the safety, tips that I shared. And there were 25 that when I went back and time stamped them. Um, so it's, I want to, I want to first for whomever didn't see that, that live um, to be able to um, share any extra things that I may have forgotten. So I want to show this here. I mean, I'm just going to show you the behind the scenes of my timestamp all the way down. So sorry, so sorry. Thanks for your patience. <laughs> I want to share everything. Um, and if you have any other suggestions that I did not cover, that I didn't include, um, I want to, I want to make sure that we, you know, kind of share it with the, the greater community. And I'm going to show you just the behind the scenes of my, there's nothing here that's confidential to share. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Actually, I do it this way. Let's see safer. Let me mute this. And I'm going to. Thanks for everyone who's popping in. I am just in my um, another video of mine to show you the timestamps. Timestamp of this video I have here. Let's see if I can share it this way. One day I'll get good at this part. See if I can do it as. Please say hello to each other as I uh, pull this up here. I'm gonna pause. How's everyone's Sunday going so far? The, the weekend went by really fast. It's very warm here, as you might imagine. But um, some days you just don't want to go out. <laughs> You just don't want to go out any place. All right, let me see if I can share this here and expand this a little bit. Oh, man. Okay, let me see if I do it this way. No, I can't do it that way. Okay. 
So let me go ahead and close this and reverse, go backwards, show it a different way. I may just highlight everything. You know, I think I smell something burning for real. So give me, give me a hot second while I mute myself. <laughs> One second. Okay. Hello there. So sorry. I have my littles checking to see if anything's turned off. Um, yes. I appreciate everyone for being here. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> Sometimes it's like that. Oh my goodness. I am um, unfortunately, I'm not able to share this part of my screen here. Let me see if I can show it. Um, it's a it's the live that I did back in October, like October 19, something like that. And I went through some of the safety tips um, of being safe. And I was attempting to share it with you here, but um, I'm having some challenges. Oh, I can do it right this. See the stalling worked. Let me reshare. Let me share my screen. Let me say hello to folks that popped in while I was distracted. Hi, Keith Gregory. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, if you've been here before, you know how I you, you know how I how I how I do it. Hi, OG Tank. Good to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hi, 2A in LA. Welcome. I appreciate you being here. Hello. Hello. Ta speaking of California, right? <laughs> um, New York outcast. Hello. Good evening. I saw your comment too. I just, um, you know, I wasn't sure how to respond uh, to that one. Felt <laughs> your comment. I'll just leave it at that. Hello, David. Good to see you. Liquid profanity. It's been a while. Good to see you. So I'm going to attempt to share my screen here. I know it could be the candle. I've used this candle before, though, many times, and it it doesn't. It just smells different, you know. This smells like mahogany, vanilla, and it's what like the stove was on. So you know, we got to double. You got to double check. That's you know, got to double check. Yeah, I know, DJ players. What I'm going to do? I was not. <laughs> As I was saying, could you please check the oven and, and stove, make sure nothing's on? That's what I was doing. Sorry for that. Thank you. No yelling, no yelling. Uh, hi, G-Baby. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, is the NBA, are there the games on right now? Yeah. I know there's, you know, I'll be competing with the uh, competing attention um, with the games and such. I recognize that. It's OK. Oftentimes folks uh, join on replay, which I appreciate everyone who pops in on replay. There are a couple of people that, that do comment and say so. So thank you. Um, hi, Dale Pogue. Good to see you. Let me drop this back down, too. Thank you for being here. Um, OK, so real quick. <laughs> I'm going to go back to sharing my screen. See if it'll let me do it this way. Did I say hello to everyone? Hi, I'm Gabriel. I think you're last one. Thank you for popping in. Yes. Um, all right, let me present. Let's see if it'll let me do it this way. Oh, my goodness. Is it because? Oh, yes. Okay. There you go. Oh, my goodness. So everyone, this is what I was attempting to share, share. Now you may not be one who is dating, right? You, you may not be interested or you may be taken, right? But I wanted to kind of run through this really quickly and you can go back to the live and, and I expand upon each of these tips, but I have to do it It's in my soul to just remind people who may be watching, if you're watching behind the scenes or you're watching this on replay, it's important just to kind of touch on all of these things we kind of mentioned before. Um, 
Do you have any questions or if I'm unclear about anything? But I'm literally just going to read through all of these things that we kind of talked about previously. Um, it, I, I just I'm, I'm just moved to share it because it's very disturbing with that one dating story of that lady who, um, however, she ended up at the the date's home and, you know, now she's not with us. And if I can help someone stay safe by sharing this again, I want to do that. Um, and then we'll move on to other things uh, that, you know, we kind of just roll into other different topics, however, it, 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 how, how things evolve. But hopefully you can see my screen clearly. Let's see if I can do it like this. Um, I mentioned, talk, I mentioned before, you know, using a different name when you're first meeting someone, maybe maybe even your middle name. Um, if you're out and about, you don't want to you don't want to be called by your name by someone who you don't want to hear from again. Right. So even when I was dating, I used a different name. I used my middle name. Um just a pseudonym, you know, just, just, just a, a different name. Um, using a different contact number, you can use a Google Google phone number because if you don't want to be contacted by that person ever again, you know, they won't be able to have your, your primary number. Um, making sure that your phone is charged, going out fully charged, not one, one bar, all those scary movies and shows we see. It was like uh, the, the, the phone's turned off and they're not able to reach anyone and no one's able to reach them. Um, making sure your phone, find your phone is on. Your find my phone feature is on both for Android and for um, iOS. Um, it has that capability. Sending your location to, um, you know, trusted person, family member, um, making sure that you've got your, your GPS set up sometimes, even with my girls, making sure that I, I know where they are when they're not with me. Um, just having that set up, and even temporarily, if you don't want people to know like all the time where you are, but just for that, you know, period of time, you can set that up. Um, having a picture in, um, in the knowing the name of your date and doing research on them in advance. This day and age, it's just, it is what it is. It's what we have to do now. It's just what we have to do, um, right? Um, choosing the place, like knowing where you're going and maybe you, maybe I say this more so from the from woman's perspective, like you get to pick the place cause then you can kind of scope it out, which I'll get to that tip here in a hot second. Um, please do share any kind of tips as I'm running through this. A lot of folks were not with me back in October. Um, if you were with me back in October, thank you for your patience as I re do a recap for other folks. Um, Choosing the places is important. I I did like doing that because I have been there before. You know, I was comfortable. I, I knew the exits. We talk about making sure you know where your exits are. Um, things like that. Um, telling, a, telling a trusted person where you're going. Kind of, I mentioned that earlier. Um, getting to the meeting place early and scanning the area. Like getting there in advance. Um, you know. I, I liked getting there in advance because it made me feel comfortable. I can kind of get settled and be frazzled. You don't have to, you know, if you're running late or right on time, um, if you're on time, you're late, people have said. Um, but you get comfortable and you can kind of survey the scene before you even get out of your car. Um, let me scroll this down a little bit. Um, driving yourself to or Ubering it there yourself. You know, I like chivalry. OK, door open, you know, hold my hand, getting me out of the car. But being able to come and go with your own vehicle or taking an Uber, not relying on that that person to get you to from your, you know, your home or from your workplace. You don't want people to knowing where you live and or where you work and you just met them. So have your own mode of transportation. Do not get picked up. Um, have your own money. Something goes bad, like you can pay for your meal and be out, or if they leave you stranded, or whatever the circumstances might be, you have to Uber it home, making sure you have your own money. You want them to pay, you want her to pay, you know, can go both ways, right? Um, making sure you have your own way to 
um, get home. The other thing is, sorry, I lost my place. Um, parking your car with your tail in kind of goes into what I mentioned before. You can survey and see, you can watch everything, where you're going into, and you can leave quickly um, if necessary. You know, you don't have to get in and try to get, potentially get blocked in, you know, trying to back out. You get in and can go. Um, and then you're parking in a visible, well-lit place. That's the other thing, too. Making sure that you're close to the door or you're under like a light where it's highly visible for people to see you. Um, mitigating your risk. Nothing's 100%, but you want to mitigate, minimize your risk of becoming a victim. You have to do your part. We have to do our part and not just... Everything will be okay. This is a safe neighborhood. It's a lot of people around. It's daytime. All those things make people comfortable. Appreciate everyone for popping in. <laughs> um, I'm going to run through these really quickly, and then I'll kind of go through and scan what you all have um, also commented on. Um, meeting outside your normal community. You don't want to meet where you frequent. Your local grocery store, you know, you have the little plaza and they've got the little pizza shop where you always go to. Don't meet at that pizza place. That's your go-to pizza place, right? If things go bad, you don't want them to know that that's your, your favorite place and he, can, he or she can find you. Mind you, this is for men and women, okay? Not just for men, men and women. Um, yes, I think that's really, really important too because if you don't like that person, you have less chances that you'll cross paths with, paths with them, right? Um, I mentioned that before, meeting in public, meeting during the day. I know people like going, getting dressed up and going out at nighttime. That first date, I'm okay meeting in the day. I'm okay with it being really short, brief, brief encounter. If it was worth it, then you'll have many more visits, dates. Um, don't leave your drink behind. Um, if you got to go to the bathroom or if you get up for whatever reason, you don't want to get roofied, you don't want anything being slipped into your drink, consume your drink before you go to the bathroom. So when you come back, you can get a fresh drink that the waiter will bring to you. Um, you know, you just want to watch your drink going dancing, going on the dance floor, um, all good. Do all those things, but making sure that you get a fresh drink when you return. So you have to pull your eyes on it the whole time. Um, staying sober, you know, even if you're drinking, if you might want to have a cocktail or a shot before you go, you know, be mindful of that. Um, you may have a high tolerance, so that may be suitable, but making sure that you, you have your wits about you, meeting a stranger for the very first time, um, that you're staying sober and not, I'm going to drink because I'm really, really nervous. I'm going to drink is, you know, so I can loosen up. You don't want to get loosen up. Like, you, you don't want that. You don't want that. Um, parting ways. Um, you know, again, chivalry. We, the first date, you don't have to get walked to your car. Because if I don't like you, I don't want you to you know where I'm, what kind of car that I have. <laughs> I'm okay with parting ways. And they should understand that let's just meet them you know part ways right at the exit of the the restaurant nice nice meeting you good to see you and they'll understand and if you want to see them again when you have that conversation next time you know they'll know it's like i understand why you did that that makes sense to stay safe no one should get their feelings hurt from you taking extra precaution meeting a stranger and that's a red flag if they might. Red flag if they do. Um, have a self-defense tool. Whatever is acceptable in your state that you can have. You know, making sure that you have something that's with you should you need it. A personal sound alarm. All the way. And uh, all means. Whatever is appropriate for you. Right? Um, 
once you get to your car, get in your car, lock the door right away. You know, I'm sure people, your friends asking, hey, how to go, all those things, how to date go. But lock your doors and maybe, you know, start driving and go someplace else before you do a debrief. But get in the car as soon as possible and lock your door. Um, take an indirect route home. If by chance they know what kind of car you have. Um, or they're waiting in the car until you get in the car and they see you, you know, just take the extra two minutes to take a different path home so that they don't uh, follow. Scrolling this down a little bit. Hopefully that's all the way down. Yes. Um, and some, some of these may be perceived as like extreme measures, but maybe not. Maybe to someone it would have made a difference. So I'm sharing all options, all things that I would think of, all things that I did when I was dating and things that I've researched um, to prepare when I did the live back in October of things that um, security professionals did advise. You do whatever is best for you, but it's important just to be reminded of these types of things. Trust your gut. Trust your gut. It's self-explanatory. Um, privately, let your waiter know um, it's a date. That was one that um, I didn't think about before. But, you know, if you're you, you're there, it's like, OK, I'm not going to have any anything to drink. Um, so if the waiter comes around, if you had dinner and you're slouching in the chair and you told them that, that you weren't going to be drinking, but you're, you know, you look like you've had one too many, then that is a red flag and they could immediately um, take action on that, that something's not right. Um, there's been stories about people doing that, just say, you know, I'm on a date, you know, first time date, just let them know. They'll just keep a watchful eye. I mean, they're not the police, right? But at least they can kind of keep a watchful eye. Um, don't connect with them on social media yet. You know, Facebook, you know, you, you, your friends, your family, where you went to school, what hobbies and interests that you have, if you're still on Facebook, um, you know, being mindful of that too, you know, maybe hold back from connecting with them right away. And tip 25, that was really fast, went through all these, but tip 25, don't go back to the person's home. If you like them, you hit it off, great chemistry. There's plenty of time to go back to that person's home or them coming to your home. I think that's like the number one. Well, all of them are really, really important, but like just pass up that urge to go there after that first date. Um, Could have saved many victims um, if they followed that security tip. Um, so I went through this really fast, but I did talk about it in further detail in my last live, and I may do it again in October. Um, I, I'm just going to do it again in October. So join me. <laughs> um, I, I hope that that was or is helpful to someone who might be watching this right now. Um, it's just important to, you know, continue to remind folks to be safe. Um, so I appreciate your patience as I went through that again. If you were with me um, during the, that last live where I covered these tips. If you are hearing this for the very, very first time, um, if there are things that you had not considered or would be helpful for someone that you know who is actively dating, um, I would encourage you, please do share, you know, fast forward, put it on two times speed to go through these tips. I know 25 is a lot. Um, I'm sure there's more. Um, and let me see what you all said here. If I've missed anything. Picking up hiring me to shadow them on a date. I guess you can have, I you know that's a good, I know you're being facetious, you're outcast, but that's a good point. Maybe having someone, you know, kind of 
in the, the restaurant in the vicinity kind of watching. Um, I didn't put that, but that is something that people have done before. Um, let me stop sharing that. Okay. Um, did I mention or did I not mention something glaring that is important or that you've experienced yourself that would be helpful? Let's see here. Oh my goodness, as someone um, that works with and trained many, yes, survivors, make sure someone trusted knows where you are and who you're with 100%. And, you know, many people are private or they don't have anyone that maybe they can, that they immediately think of, but it's important. There has to be someone <laughs> that you, that you can share and say, hey, I'm going to be going out with this person, I'm sure it's fine, but just so you know, okay, and I'll text you once the date is over that I'm good with a, a little code phrase um, that everything's fine or even call you, you know, just to touch base. Everything's fine. Hi, Artac and Daughters. Good to see you. Welcome. Thank you for being here. It is possible to park at a place where you can go forward or backwards if necessary. Even if you got to hop the, yes, hop the curb. Um, yes, I recognize you can still get blocked in um, parking nose out. Yes, but I like parking. I started parking, you know, that way just in general because um, you get to kind of just see everything. And if your date, is going in, you know, you can kind of size them up before you even go in also, you know, it's like, oh, okay. He's, he's not catfish. He's not catfishing me. <laughs> um, but there's a, a variety of reasons why it would be beneficial, but yeah, I know maybe parking in a way so that you could go forwards and backwards. It's a good point. I didn't, um, call out. Thank you for that. Yes. Definitely, yes. Just take the extra couple minutes, right, to go a different route. Yeah, take your drink with you. Yeah. I won't say I'm clumsy, but, you know, taking it out on the dance floor, I know they discourage that too, but, you know, they now have those little covers that you could put over your drink so that it, it is kind of spill resistant. Um if you take your drink out, walking about, talking to people or dancing on the dance floor. But I I would just get a fresh new drink. You know, drink it up really fast and then go to the bathroom wherever you're going. Inspect gifts. GPS trackers are cheap. Yeah, that's a good point, too. You get uh, a dozen roses or something like that or... Um, some some candy and under in the the bottom of the candy it could be something in there. It's true. I hadn't thought about that one. That's good. Whatever it might be, honestly. And I got this here. I shared it previously. I hope to finally use it. It is the um, hidden camera detector. Um, side note, just. Uh, like a bug detector, I'm going to take this when I go next time on a trip for my hotel room. Speaking of tracker, um, just to make sure no one's in there. No one's, no one's, no one has prying eyes into there. I think so, that's what makes me nervous about staying in the, um, like a, a, a Airbnb. I was going to say bed and breakfast, but that too, Airbnb. I'm nervous about doing that. Um, has anyone done that before, like staying in an Airbnb and having something like this to kind of scan? I've heard that the Airbnb as a company changed their um, policy on having security cameras not in the home. I think they 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 were kind of loose that the, the people who rented out their, their place could have cameras inside and outside, but not like in the bathroom, in the bedroom, like, so, you know, certain in the common areas, but I think they put the kibosh on that. 
um, not too long ago that I heard a story about that. Anyone hear about that? I'm just nervous about staying in an Airbnb any period. Okay. I'm nervous about that. I don't know. Hi, CJ's info. Good to see you. Welcome. Hope you're doing great. <laughs> from another life, from my previous life. Give them your MySpace account. Oh my goodness. I know I did have a MySpace. I don't even know what that is anymore. Yes. Alternate. Oh. Oh, that's kind of, hmm. <laughs> that takes it to a whole nother level. You know, if I got to do all that, you know, mm, I, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Hi, off target. Sounds like a crazy world. I know. Yeah. I always said, like, if I ever become, like, completely uh, what do you call it? Single and uh, <laughs> a spinster. I'm, I will be perfectly fine being that that person because it's crazy today. I, I, I don't want to go down that road again. I just don't. I just don't. And I myself personally, I married my um, originally, we're no longer together, but I married my high school sweetheart. So I didn't really get the, the whole dating thing until I got older. And it's, it is scary. It's a scary time. Um, yeah, I'll be fine to be, I'll be old, the old aunt that lives in the shoe, the old lady who lives in the shoe, that, that will be me. <laughs> uh, I got up by a drunk chick at a bar when I was leaving. The first date was bad. She, yeah, that's scary. And you you don't... And then if you're with someone who gets really intoxicated and some story comes out the next day that they saw you with them and you were anything, 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 you just don't want to get put yourself in, in a certain light with that kind of behavior, right? Maybe it's just my older self talking here. If any young people out there listening, watching, please, please take heed of some of these things that we're sharing with you. <laughs> Friends, do I remember that? Trust your gut. Mm -hmm. If something doesn't feel right, have an exit plan. Yes. What does that look like? If you are activator, what is it? What does your safety plan look like? Definitely advise having something for that. And I know you don't have people in your business. All that I get. I get all that part. But safety first. Hi, Queen Hornet. Good to see you. Welcome. Welcome in. Don't drink when going out. Eat before you go. Drink before you go. Well, I, yeah, I, mean, I didn't mean to say drink before you go. Some people do have like a little shot or cocktail before they go. I guess it depends on, you know, your tolerance. Um, just if you want to not be completely on edge, meeting someone for the first time, I get that. but. Um, drink when you get home, you know, celebrate a, a successful encounter, um, it, for, you know, play it for another one and see how it goes. Just don't drink when you go out. Yes. DJ says, don't drink some dance. <laughs> I should have known. I know. I'm sorry. That's, that's, that's definitely cause for people to fall and hurt themselves. I know. It's what people do, though. It's, it's still what people do. Airbnb is a tech company cosplaying as a loosely connected hotel, hotel chain. Yeah, I'm I'm nervous. I've never done. I've never signed up for a stay there just because of the security. I'm like, OK, who are these company? Who are the people? And they could put cameras in certain places and it can be like a little it could be a pen, you know, it could be anything. That's why having like, 
I, I forgot to use this last time, but I do look forward to using it. I don't like reading instructions. So that's why it's still in the box. <laughs> but having, I got this off Amazon and once I try it, okay, I'll share it with you to see if, I mean, how do you know that it works or not? You know, it should, it, it does tell you what it's supposed to alert, but I'm just going to just do my part and we'll see how that goes. It had pretty good ratings. That's, that's all I know, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I'm nervous about staying at an Airbnb as well. I prefer hotels. I'd rather deal with a bigger company than a homeowner if I have any issues. I know. And then if they can record you and they save it. Remember that story? It wasn't too long ago, maybe a month, two months. Maybe it was a month ago. Um, and the person that rented the Airbnb didn't want to pay. I'm making it up. I'm trying to remember all the, the, the details. But something where there was a... a money exchange was an issue with it in the Airbnb owner person released video footage of the man um, with someone that wasn't his wife or something like that. Like, you know, trying to set him, um, trying to set him up and say, okay, you don't pay him or release it. And he, he didn't pay. And so they released it um, of he, him being with another woman. Like those things have happened too. You just think you're minding your own business, want to have a little getaway, and, you know, that happens. I didn't make up that story. That really did happen. But, like, they keep records of you. What what happens? What happens when they record with those recordings? I don't know. It's very unsettling. It would be a red shoe. You're talking about having something... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> having something that the, the, the detecting under a, like a camera under the red shoe. Ugh. Queen Hornet. No, I haven't. You would think that I would have by now. That might be a nice Christmas present. Yes, I do not. And for a long time, I was working from home, so I didn't really feel the need to have one because I wasn't out and about like that. But now I am again. So that's a good idea. Yes. I do not have that. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that tip. That's a good thing, too. That's a good tip for the safe, the, the, the dating, too. Right? Just extra. And if you parked in a certain way, to facing the like the restaurant or whomever you're meeting, even if you know that date walks you to your car, they're on camera now. You know, you don't just have to have a Tesla to have a camera. You can like you know, you can have your own little dash camera. That's good. I love it. That's a great idea. See, I love it. Give me something else to add for next October when I do the, when I bring this conversation up again. Always and have your GPS on, um, on your phone. Shoot, AirTag yourself. <laughs> I will not read that near your cast, but I quickly scanned that. That's funny. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sure that will work. Yes. I love the idea of the dash cam. I didn't even think about that before, especially if you're parked strategically and you ever had to report on it later. That's good. Um, yes. So I, let me see here. I meant to have my little goodie bag um, of the D wipes and D lead, um, but I don't have it handy yet. So I'm going to postpone, let's see, yes, postpone. If you joined me last week, I talked about doing the a, a little giveaway of the D-Lead and D-Wipes. I'm so thankful that many people did comment about um, getting some of those lead de decontamination wipes when they go to the range, um, especially for 
you reloaders out there too, making sure that you're keeping yourself safe. A lot of folks went onto Amazon and purchased um, those products. Um, the laundry, they have one for laundry. They have one for, you know, your hands, taking a shower, all of that. So for everyone who did comment later um, and message me, I appreciate it. And I'm glad that makes me happy, not just up here rattling on about things. Um, hopefully it's of value to you. So I appreciate that. Thank you for letting me know that um, you're buying those things. And unfortunately, I don't have like a direct relationship. I don't have a code that you can use for purchasing those products. You just go to Amazon. I do have an Amazon store and it's listed, but do your own Amazon search and you'll be able to find them um, to keep you keep you clean, keep you safe. Um, and they have testers too. You can test um, if you have a lot of uh, products, not products, but items that might have lead potentially on them. You can test that stuff and see. Um, best thing to do is just clean it, you know, and keep, keep it moving. But if you did want to test it for some reason, they do have testing kits out there. So that's good. Um, mentioning that little tidbit there. Anyone buy those? Hi, James Speed. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. You always comment after the fact. I appreciate you popping in. You left me um, a couple comments. I'm glad. I'm glad. Awesome. Look at profanity. I'm glad. Yes. Did you use it? Or have you been using it for a long time? The D lead and D wipes? I would imagine the you you reloaders truly because you all touch on all that stuff that having that stuff is is good to have. Queen Hornet, I see your comment too. Um, yeah, get get that for your hands. Yes, yes, yes. Because um, you have dust, the the metal dust particles that get on your hands. Um, and I like to snack too. When I first was, when I was, so first started going to the outdoor range, I'd have like little my little protein bars and such, and I'd like shoot, and then I'd eat my protein bars or whatever I'm doing, or like a pretzel or something. And I'm like, okay. Although it's probably minor, minor pieces of particles, but that stuff adds up in putting it into your body. So I was very thankful um, that I found that those products. So yes. I'm all ideas. I'm all ears. Have a granddaughter who one day. Yes. I constantly, if you talk to my daughters, I am constantly reminding them over and over again. They know it's ingrained in their bones. <laughs> my fear is that I get a phone call that they're strained at some place. I just, just worry, you know, just worry, just worry. Um, so they can't always be with me. So I make sure that they, have the knowledge and the tools that they need to keep themselves safe um, by themselves or with other people, right? Beautiful eyes. Hello. Blast from the past. Hello. Oh my goodness. Good to see you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll have to come over and visit you. Thank you for that. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure for sure. Beautiful lies is from a from a, my previous life where I had a my other channel, and so I, I love it. Folks coming over and saying hello. Since I'm on a new, I'm on a expanded path. Thank you for that. Yes. Thanks, CJ Play Nice for sharing that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> been using a simple wise for 12 years now we get tested every six months at work that's what i heard um and it keep um it has to be kept at levels when i went to that one range in dallas that's what the the guy said that there's certain um uh, levels that osha allows um and that you're constantly getting um tested and if your levels are too high you get booted out of the range and have to work the floor is what he told me so that was funny um, for their safety, of course. So that was good. That was good. Yes. You know, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> not dirty, you know, not fight dirty, but appropriate, appropriately. Um, 
Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Tactical Skillionaire. Good to see you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate you popping in. Yes. <laughs> no real street fighting. I know. What's really awesome, I'll share a quick story. This past weekend, um, there was a, the gun show. Um, I couldn't go because I was participating in a, um, a women's seminar, a women's self-defense seminar at my dojo. And because um, there's not a lot of women who are part of like the higher level belts, I feel compelled and obligated to be there and be present for people coming in from the community taking, you know, this free seminar, which I greatly encourage women to try. Not all martial arts are made the same. So trying different ones, men too, trying different ones. So the ladies did come in and it was a church group, maybe like six ladies and then some other ones I found it through Facebook. And um, they asked me on the spot. Oh, my goodness. They were going around asking questions. What do you do if someone grabs your hair? What if someone comes um, up behind you and, and knocks you down like on your back? Like, what do you do in those situations? And so they went through different uh, dem demonstrations and tactics that can be used. And then they said, well, what if someone you're jogging and um, or walking and someone comes up and puts their um, hand, you know, does a chokehold? And my sensei, uh, Santoshi, he says, you want to demonstrate that for them? I'm like, oh God, me? Oh, on the spot, um, demonstrating before the other ladies. Um, Mind you, I'm the most petite woman there. Um, and the the guy who was going to do the demo with me, I say he's like 6'4", okay? He's like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, something like that. He goes, I'll do it with her. I'm like, great. Um, so he came. I was simulated jogging, doot, doot, doot. And he put his hand around my, uh, my neck. And what you're supposed to do is you put your, you tuck your chin inside their arm here and you bring your whole like body weight just you just drop it all the way down um and like onto your knees and what that's supposed to do is they're not expecting it you flip them over basically and they splat on their back um so i demonstrated that um i didn't plan on doing that um but it worked of course <laughs> um and the ladies afterwards, one of the, the women who saw that happen, because we were in like a big circle and I did it. And they said, that was really impactful to see you being a woman, a petite woman being take, um, taking down a big guy like that. And they signed up. They signed up for like a trial period, like eight, eight or so women signed up um, out of a dozen Others had to check with their, their husbands, they said. But um, I was really happy about that and happy to be there. And the owner, uh, the co-owner said, you know, you really made a difference in going through that exercise with them. And I think doing the martial arts for sure, but then also doing the, the firearms training and instructing to say, does it doesn't matter what you look like, that you can learn the skills and practice and you can defend yourself and you can be confident and you can share with you know your family members and your friends and they can just see it you know sometimes you didn't have to even say anything it's how you you move about and your mindset just changes when you feel empowered whatever it might be and i was really Proud. I was I was not wanting to go to the seminar, uh, truth be told. But I was like, I have to go because it's, it's for women. And there's only so many of us women there at, at that, like the higher leadership level um, at the dojo. So I have to be present. But, you know, sometimes it's Saturday morning. You just want to like sleep in. Right. But I went and I'm I'm really, really glad that I did. So I don't know why I share that with you. Probably only to say that. As you learn the skills, whatever it might be, um, you don't you don't even know the impact that you're making in other people's lives by them watching you be um, happy and confident in 
you know, walking about that you can take care of yourself. And so I just try to portray that and be a positive example for my my girls, honestly, that as they get older and go out into the world in their own, on their own path, um, that they can take, take care of themselves. And I don't have to be as worried. I will always be worried. I won't have to be as worried. So that's why I'm here with you today. <laughs> One of the reasons why I'm here with you today to share that and be a positive example in this space. <laughs> uh, she basically said, because love and ain't popping, open afresh. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Couldn't have said it any better. Couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> uh, RG Rock Dalto, guy is scared to come back class out. I know. He he was a, like, he's a tall, like, lanky guy, too. And it was literally on the spot, unplanned. I'm like, oh my gosh, please. And I've been slacking lately, honestly, because I've been traveling. So I've been going as consistently as I was, you know, in like February. And so I was, I was very rusty. I could have done it better, but it was still effective, you know. Once you're doing it and practicing things like that often, it just becomes something, you know. You're, you you just know because you've been practicing it and it becomes part of your mindset. This is what this is what it feels like. This is what I know to do. <laughs> yeah, he went down. Fortunately, they teach us how to roll, so he was fine. He was fine. He rolled out of it. <laughs> He's over these days. Can roll throw hands? That's very funny. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I appreciate that. But yes, I just wanted to share that story. Um, I thought there was something else I wanted to share too, but if, if I've forgotten, I'll save it for another day. But that's all I have for you all today. I don't know if there's anything, you know, I like DJ Play Nice. You talked about doing like a panel discussion in the future where people can, you know, we can have, I think I can have 10, 10 folks up here up to 10, something like that. Um, and we can talk about some, you know, being safe and everyone can share their input. Um, I'd like to start doing that um, here and there. I think that would be good. But um, let me know what you think. <laughs> no, it was a, one of the black belts too. Um, yeah, it was good though. I was glad that I didn't hurt myself or hurt him in the process. That's that's, that's for sure, because it was sp very spontaneous. But um, I hope that everyone has a great week ahead. Let's see. I know, oh my gosh, it's going to be May before we know it. Um, and so that's when travel begins. I do want to, did you hear that? My stomach's growling. I, I never eat before I come on live. Um, Zoom, maybe Zoom or um, I will just send a StreamYard link. Yeah, that's probably the best way for me to do that. I'll just send the invited party participants <laughs> um, a StreamYard link and you just log in, kind of like Zoom. Yeah, if you've never done it before, that would be exactly like that on or off camera, whichever you prefer. Um, but I appreciate it. Thank you, New York Outcast, for being here. Yes, I'm winding down also. Um, I will be talking about traveling safety um, in the next couple lives. Got to pick when it's going to be um, internationally as well. I think I hinted to that last week. So look out for that. We we'll definitely want to hear your tips and suggestions on if you travel abroad, which I haven't traveled abroad for really. It's been it's been a while. Um, what tips that you would have to, to keep yourself safe? So we're, we'll be talking about that because people are going to start getting out um, into the world and want to make sure that you are t keeping yourself safe. So um, look out for that community post. I may do like a poll maybe. And um, we definitely will do a live on that. OK, so for now, I appreciate you. Thank you for joining. I um, hope you enjoyed this topic. Sometimes it's just random and however it evolves to be. 
But I appreciate everyone for being here. Thanks for everyone watching the replay. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please do. Um, thank you to all the new subscribers that um, have come along. I am grateful for you. Welcome to the Fireside Chat. And I will see you in uh, the next live, wherever that might be. Definitely Sunday, but you know, you might see me in a pop up here in the near future. So thank you for being here, and I will see you in the next video. Is, is that it? Hey, what happened? Okay, sorry. Let's try this again. <laughs> Have a great week ahead. Is, is that it? Yep. That's oh, it. is that simple? Yep. It's that simple.